So the energy that I seem to be getting is there is definitely a new soulmate that seems to be coming in. Now I feel like that this person is going to immediately identify the fact that you do have this very strong divine presence. So they're going to be able to see the fact that you know, your light seems to shine very brightly. They're going to be very attracted to the vibration that you seem to be on. Now, I feel like they're, they're definitely going to be very impressed with your energy. So they're going to feel like that you are very self-made. You are somebody that, you know, I think has got like a very strong independent streak here. Somebody that is definitely able to take care of themselves. But they are going to fall in love with your personality or recognize the fact that you know, they do feel like a lot of unconditional love and attraction towards your energy. Because I've just got, I'm falling for you. I've also got, I love you. Now, it's quite possible that uh, in the beginning of this connection, this person could actually feel some self-doubt. They might overthink this connection, overthink their emotions here. They might be thinking negatively, you know, about how to approach you or how to express themselves here. But they're definitely going to feel a connection here. So there will be a strong connection. And I think that you've been manifesting this soulmate. Now, I feel like that you might actually need to make sure that you've healed from the past and that you're releasing, you know, past experiences with other soulmates to make sure that that doesn't actually conflict with this partnership when it actually comes forward. Because past these past soulmates that you've been with are certain relationships that have just not gone well. This might impact communication. This might impact uh, like your manifestations here. Alright, so we've got confirmation for healing from the past. So there's definitely some spiritual healing that needs to happen here before this soulmate comes in. This could be like issues with your parents, this could be issues with your family, uh, just certain inner childhood wounds here, or feelings of like unrequited love. You know, so connections where it's just not been reciprocal. So you've got to heal from those connections. But you do need to clearly decide what you want. Because whoever this... Yeah, whoever this soulmate is, is going to be like very romantic. Because it just says romantic feelings. Your feelings are, are real and worth exploring. Emotions. So definitely a lot of emotions here, communication and interaction. You might also need to work on your shadow self here. So I am getting that this person is definitely going to want to communicate with you. They're definitely going to want to... You know, have some social interaction. Yep, 
Yeah, so it feels like that they're going to be very focused on this connection. And also very willing to express their emotions. New love. Alright, so confirmation for this soulmate. Spending quality time. So you will have to spend quality time with this person. Because it just says listen and talk to each other. So that just confirms the communication and social interactions. But there will be a lot of emotions connected to this partnership. But they will be very attracted to the fact that, that you do seem to be very self-made here. So that independent streak, that self-efficiency. The fact that you seem to be able to take care of business, that you can take care of yourself here. It's a very attractive trait, so we've got I love you. So that's come out twice. So this person is really going to want to express their love. And they might do this through their actions. Embrace your emotions, true love. So a lot of, a lot of confirmation here for this connection. So they are going to, yeah, they're just going to want to embrace these emotions. You know, be open about the fact that there is like romantic feelings here. That there is some type of attraction, some type of connection. Because as I said at the beginning, they're going to be very attracted to your vibration. So they will like instinctually be able to sense out the fact that you are very high vibrational. But you might have some, you know, past experiences, whether this is inner childhood healing or just, you know, past partnerships or, or experiences that you've gone through that will impact this connection. So you might need to practice spiritual hygiene, making sure that you're cleansing out past emotions. Because these past connections, like, they're going to be able to sense out the fact that you are high vibrational. But they will also be able to sense out that there's some healing to do. So it might make it feel just a little bit unsafe to approach you. Because I'm getting that this person is going to have very strong instincts, a very strong spiritual self. Whether they're actually spiritual or not, they will be able to feel if it's a good time. But you're definitely an earth angel. So they're going to realise the fact that you are an earth angel. Because we've got divine presence. A lifetime as a loving angelic soul. Empathetic and emotionally sensitive. This soulmate carries so much love for you. So once again that just confirms. So they will consider you to be like very... Like, have a lot of devotion, a lot of humility, very empathetic, new soulmate, soul searching through, soul, uh, through self reflection. So, you're finding your spiritual, your spiritual self and the truth. So, once again, that's just connected uh, to the fact that there is some healing here that needs to happen. Maybe you need to find your spiritual self. Be making sure that your spiritual self is aligned here. But you do have strength of character. 
And you're also a very good judge of character as well. Investment, investing in yourself. So you do need to invest in yourself. Spiritually magical, high priestess, intuition, shaman, third eye. So you might be spiritually gifted, compassionate, empathetic personality, a positive and calm personality. You deserve better than those that try to deter you. You caught my eye. There is something special about you. So you will catch this person's eye. And they're going to consider you to be angelically beautiful. So they are going to be very infatuated with your image. And feel like that they can't replace this connection. Because they're going to be very naturally attracted to you. So you're not a model, but you're beautiful or handsome. Angel energy. Confirmation for overthinking. Standing on business, boss energy. So confirmation uh, for the self-made. Could be somebody in a friend group. But they're definitely going to consider you to be very adorable, very attractive. This will be a spiritual connection. But once again, there could be some stressful situations or life experiences or a difference in life experiences that could actually impact this connection. But you are going to catch this person's eye. You might catch their eye, like when they're surrounded by their friends. You could actually have mutual friend groups here. But they are going to consider you to be very angelic. So spiritual energy is going to be like really evident here. But there could be some people that try to impact this connection when it comes in. Yeah, certain people that have lied about you. So it does look like that some people are going to try to send spiritual attacks to this connection. So it is going to be important that you do try to find your inner peace here. Truth bomb. The truth is coming. Loves your appearance. You're flawless to them. Pent up emotions. You're so open hearted and empathetic. But you're not weak minded or naive. So whoever this soulmate is, they're going to, yeah, it just feels like they're going to think very highly of you. They could actually have a very fatherly type of energy or consider you to have a fatherly energy here. Somebody that's very stable, protective, has good listening ear. Yeah, there's definitely going to be some pent-up emotions here. Some pent-up attraction. But a few things have been emphasised here concerning the fact that they are going to find you to be very physically appealing. They are going to sense out the fact that you are high vibrational. So yeah, you're definitely going to charm this person. Because it just says socialising. You have a way with people. Charming and genuine. Don't let the past and old experiences take you out of your character. Misses your body. So there is something about your body here. That seems to be standing out. So you might just have... 
you know a physical shape that they're very attracted to or just a, a body type that they're very you know fixated on doesn't know what to say they feel everyone wants you confirmation so they are going to feel like that you know that a lot of people are going to want this connection as well and they might be a little shy here But yeah, the haters in the back, so whoever tries to send spiritual attacks to this connection is going to get karma. So I'm actually picking up two different personality types here. Or maybe just a mixture of a lot of this stuff. Because we've got shy personality and confident personality. So, some conflicting uh, traits here. Or maybe just seem to go back and forth in this energy. Right, so we've got Alpha Leader, Emperor and Empress energy. Thinking about you. So, this person is going to think about you a lot. Incoming romance, new soulmate. You make me happy. Synchronicities, meaningful coincidences, God incidences. So there is going to be some, uh, some synchronicities that are going to make it very clear that this person uh, is going to be the one here. Some confirmations. But there's definitely an incoming romance here. That looks like is going to think about you a lot. But I am getting the uh, as you like as you reach new levels, there's going to be some other karmic energy that comes in. Because we've got new levels, new devils. As you grow and reach new levels, so does the amount of obstacles, leadership. You're a leader. This is natural to you. So this person might actually consider you to be a very good leader. Or you might consider this person uh, to be a leader here. Or there's like a lot of leadership qualities that come through. You might actually see each other as leadership quality. But this person is going to be emotionally, very emotionally sensitive to your energy. Because we've just got highly sensitive and empathetic. Your aura is so innocent and pure. Protect your spirit because everybody feels it. Remember your energy. Unforgettable. God energy. Masculine and protective. Charming, sensitive, caring, authoritative. You're too strong for me. Roman gods, physical appearance. So you might actually look like a Roman god or goddess. Affection, wanting affection, inner knowing. So as I said, like, they're going to have an inner knowing of this connection. And also just feel a lot of affection, a lot of a lot of unconditional love for your energy.
So yeah, I'm not too sure how clear this mask just come out. Because I was getting a lot of different types of energy here. Aquarius. Heal your heart. Virgo. Free your pain. So yeah, you do need to make sure that you're free in your pain. So healing from the past is a necessity here. Leo. And also making sure that you're taking time to do that. Protect your integrity. You are precious. So we'll see it was very precious, very transformative. Somebody that creates very firm boundaries. And also speaks your truth here. Aries. Gemini. So they're definitely going to see you um, through a different perspective as most people. So they will see you exactly for who you are. Gemini, Leo, shine brightly like the star that you are. Rise to the challenge. Strike your stuff and show your true colours. Act with grace. They will find you very graceful. Connect with your wolf pack. The wolf. Be gentle with yourself. So you will need to make sure that you're very gentle uh, with yourself here. But I'm also getting that this person is going to be very gentle with you. Cancer. Virgo. <clears throat> Right, so we've got Libra, Love and Romance, Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, Come Out of Your Shell, Aries, Scorpio, Libra, Pisces, Don't Let Yourself Get Boxed In, Virgo again, <clears throat> and Aquarius, Angel Numbers. So yeah, definitely a lot to a lot of energy here. But this person is definitely going to consider you to be very strong minded. So the main things that were coming out <clears throat> uh so it was self made, independent, physically attractive. Very charming. Uh, a lot of unconditional love. A lot of affection here, but also some overthinking. Possibly some past stuff that will impact this connection. So as I said, you need to make sure that you're practicing our spiritual hygiene. But they are going to sense out the fact that you do have strong instincts. This person will have strong instincts. They'll recognise the fact that you are very high vibrational. So this is something that I feel like they're going to be attracted to. Alright, so we've got a uh, Halsey without me. Leanna Rhymes, Can't Fight the Moonlight. Jessica Malboy, We've Got Love. Miley Cyrus, Butterfly Fly Away. House of... House of Pain, Jump Her Out, Jessica Malboy, Wake Me Up, Fleets With Mac, Landslide, Glass Animals, I Don't Want To Talk. So they might actually feel like that you don't want to talk here. Doge Cat, Get Into It, Blackpink, Boom Be Ya. So they will consider you to have uh, very some yeah some like very main character energy or maybe this person will have main character energy but they will feel like that you know that a lot of people will be attracted to you and a lot of people are going to want this connection
or just feel the same way that you do or that they do. So maybe this person might be a bit too shy to approach you. You might be too shy to approach this person. Or there just could be some blockage here in communication. But there will be a very strong attraction. You will both think very highly of each other. And I'm also getting to that both of you will be very empathetic, very sensitive, very highly sensitive. And also a lot of earth angel energy. But I feel like that's pretty much the message. Uh, so thank you to everyone that's liked and subscribed. And to send everybody lots of positivity. I'm healing and love and light.